seem to me Makeup on their faces Actors took their places my name is Mary Carter. I came in the 73rd probationary class on August 17, 1987. Station 3 is in the heart of the Tenderloin and it's a very busy firehouse. I wanted to learn from the best and they were the best. They would never say that. They don't speak of themselves that way. I got to learn everything there was about firefighting from the members and from all the experience at Station 3. The big thing was the hair. The hair policy was not in place when we uh, got in the field or when we were sworn in. And so what, and this was Chief Fred Postel, they even went down to Los Angeles and looked at the female firefighters in LA and the women down there had really severe short hair similar to that of a, in a man, man's barbershop. And Fred Postel did not want that for the women, but he also didn't want the men to have long hair or ponytails. And so there was, it, uh, it went through, he held off on that hair policy because the guys could ha started to grow their hair long and, and pin their hair up in a ponytail like us. And so that was a problem. That was a real problem, I, I thought. Um, you know, you looked at what, what separated us, and that was kind of like a big thing. Like, how come she can have a ponytail and I can't? And so they started being rebellious and started growing their hair, which, you know, is understandable, you know, so. Hello, my name is Frances Fauché. Uh, I was a member of the 73rd class of the San Francisco Fire Department. I entered the training tower on August 17th of 1987. I was assigned to Captain Haverlin, Dave Haverlin, and he was so well respected. I had a serious case of hero worship. Um, he was a wonderful man and it was so funny. We'd go to fires and this was, you didn't wear Scots back then. And I remember being on the floor above the fire and it was just smoke bank down to the floor so we're crawling around and your nose is running you know you got snot running out and he kept stopping and introducing me to people going hey joe joe meet my probie this is my probie francis <laughs> and i'm like i can't believe i'm in a fire searching for people and he's introducing me at the same time um but he he also you know, I just knew that he was looking out for my best interests. On my graduation, this is a picture of Mayor Feinstein who came to our graduation. And what I learned about, um, I learned later in the firehouse about Mayor Feinstein is she had a set of turnouts in the trunk of her car. And she loved the fire department. She loved showing up at our, at our calls and our greater alarms. And the men named the first group of women that came through Feinstein's finest. But it is a privilege to be able to help people in their time of need. And that's why I look back on my 25 years with the San Francisco Fire Department and say it was a privilege and I enjoyed every moment of it. I'm Eileen McChrystal, recently Eileen Tejas, and I started the fire department in August of 17, 1987. I was the 73rd class. There was a big warehouse fire. Um, it was an antique store, <laughs> believe it or not. I, I think it was on Folsom Street. And just, um, I was the operator in truck one, truck engine one, uh, 36. It was a, a great alarm, it had to be a fourth alarm. And all of us were just, you know, working, getting this fire out. And there was walls of fire just everywhere. I thought that was, you know, it was almost like being on a movie set. It was um, pretty amazing. So, and nobody got hurt at that fire. And that's, that's a good fire when nobody you know, got hurt and everybody can go back to the house and, and talk about it. Whenever you go to another fire, you see the same people that you worked with and you just, um, you have this camaraderie that you know, the fire department has really um, stood for. My name is Sarah Cole. I was a member of the 74th probationary class. I came in in October of 1987. I mean, there's there's a lot of different, you know, there's the kind of calls where you remember working with certain people on, and then there's the kind of calls where, you know, like early in my career, that uh, fifth alarm on Hayden, Hayden, um, it was like well, Hayden Cole, where the fire 
actually radiated across the street. And I'd never, I mean, that was just unbelievable to me. I mean, sometimes, you know, when you actually are able to save somebody's life, you know, that is a, that's an you know, amazing feeling to be able to, to help somebody and save their lives like that. And that's what I liked about working at Station One is a lot of really good firemen, people with really good work ethic, and that's what kept me here all those years. I just like working around that. And even the new people that came in over the years um, had that same work ethic and, and uh, you know we had we just have a lot of we have a lot of fun here and we have and we work hard and it's just, that's always what I've liked about being here. <laughs> so, I, I felt like I was treated well and I was given a chance, you know. And, and that meant a lot to me. So, it still does. <laughs> yeah, so, my name is Sheila Hunter. Um, I, I started in 1987 with San Francisco Fire Department, October of 1987. Um, and I was in my class is the seventh fourth class. Some of the other things, highlights that um, I've encountered is like just working within the community and being able and feeling like that I've actually been a part of changing, you know, some, some, you know, some people, some kids of color's life or just kids in general. One of the other highlights would be um, is my daughter coming into the party park. That was a, that was a highlight. I was very, I am, I was, I am very proud of her. So, okay. There are um, father daughters, but I believe we're the first mother daughter. <laughs> yeah, mother daughter, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are. We were different. Everyone's kind of looking at us. It's like everything we do, we're kind of in the fishbowl. Sometimes we go to an incident. I remember we made. I maybe I was chopping something, or I'm, or, you know, I'm doing something, overhauling. Then I look around, and I'm thinking, okay. No one is doing it. Everyone is stopped. They're looking at me. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just chop a little faster and chop a little harder then. Um, but I'm seeing more people. There's more of a pool to draw from. There's more um, embracing, more of a sisterhood, that, which is wonderful, which is starting to flourish. So. And as I said, there's more women in key positions throughout the department. What advice would I kick out there? Okay, so I would say one is to be yourself. I mean, that's, that sounds kind of, but be yourself. Don't compromise yourself. Don't compromise your values. Study your trade, know your trade. Whatever position you're in, know that position because it's going to make you a better firefighter, a better officer, or wherever you are within your, um, within your career. And then lastly, which is really, really big, hell, enjoy yourself. This is a good career. Enjoy yourself. Um, no, just be, be authentic, be yourself and um, find your voice. My last advice is to be kind and um, just to be happy to the rebel and all of us, you know? It just, you follow your dreams, you follow what you enjoy to do and, you know, firefighting has been the best, best job I've ever had. It's a physical job and you need to prepare yourself for that. Don't be afraid to, to get in there and get yourself dirty, you know, <laughs> and, and work, you know, that's, that's the way you learn the job and is, is you do it and you, and you listen to people you work with and they have something that, that you know, they, always, they have something to teach you. You can always learn from other people. My advice would be to respect the traditions of the fire department and the ones I learned from Station 5, which is why I wanted to go back, was you look out for each other. You look out for your fellow brothers and sister firefighters so that you all get the job done and help people and in the end of the day, you're healthy and happy.
te dejo.